In this lesson, we'll discuss the concept of bond dissociation energy and how it's used to determine the strength of covalent bonds. Bond dissociation energy is the amount of energy that's required to break apart a covalent bond. Knowing the values of bond dissociation energies helps us determine the strengths of covalent bonds, as the amount of energy required to break a bond is proportional to the strength of that bond. Studying bond dissociation energies of various covalent bonds has shown us that three main factors determine the strength of a covalent bond. Firstly, we know that the sizes of atoms affect the strength of a bond, and that small atoms form strong, compact bonds. In terms of strength, as we can see here, a dihydrogen molecule has a much larger bond dissociation energy than dichlorine, because hydrogen atoms are smaller than chlorine atoms. In terms of compactness, the dihydrogen molecule has a smaller bond length than chlorine, as dihydrogen's bond length is 74 picometers, and dichlorine's is 199 picometers. This means that the hydrogen atoms are held closer together in their bond than the chlorine atoms. The second factor that affects covalent bond strength is bond order. As bond order increases, meaning the number of bonds between two atoms increases, the bond strength increases. In our example, we can see the comparison of two carbons with single, double, and triple bonds, that is, with bond orders 1, 2, and 3. The carbons with only a single bond have the lowest bond dissociation energy, and thus weakest bond strength, while the carbons with a triple bond have the greatest bond dissociation energy and greatest bond strength. Similar to atomic size, bond order also affects the bond lengths of covalent bonds. As we can see here, as the bond order increases, the bond length decreases, meaning atoms that are connected with more bonds are held closer together. Lastly, the strength of a covalent bond is affected by polarity, as polar covalent bonds are much stronger than pure covalent bonds. We can see in our example that a dinitrogen molecule has a lower bond dissociation energy than a nitrogen oxide molecule. This is because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, and thus the two atoms create a polar covalent bond. The reason polar molecules have greater bond dissociation energies, and thus greater bond strengths, is because their partially positive and negative ends mean they have some ionic character. Since ionic bonds are stronger than covalent bonds, Covalent bonds with some ionic character will be stronger than covalent bonds with only covalent character.